sure you want to leave Cause my heart aches every time you take that plane at three Come on baby please Cause the breeze and the sun that shines on me Frees my mind, gives me fantasies Thinking about what we could be Cause I know got to Guadalest Motor Museum and it started to rain. The owners come out. We're all wet. We're all wet. We got wet. Luckily enough though, look, we're allowed to put our bikes in his in the owner of the museum's garage. Amazing. And now we're gonna have a coffee. Let's go and see uh, what the weather brings. We're getting wet. <laughs> I've just woke up and it is absolutely freezing. And uh, there's Ian for you. He's getting a, hopefully waiting for the sun to come out. And uh, where is it? And there's our little kitchen. <laughs> and my dad's gone to get some water, I think, or gone to the toilet, I don't know. But it is really cold compared to the other nights. Can't wait for the sun to come out. Shame about the crane in a way, but look at those houses on the top of that hill. That is amazing. They're definitely not NASA houses. So these are the waterfalls at San Juan de Fonts. Day four. Day four. Don't fall over. That's us for the night, in the tent, well, sorry, not in the tent, in Ian. Ian's trying to keep us warm tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear it, but 
just over there is the waterfall. Can't see it. <laughs> Maybe you can hear it, I'm not sure, but hey ho, and we'll be back with you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Night! Night! San Sebastian, the old town, it's beautiful. Pamplona, just got here, chilling out with a nice cold beer and listening to Jeremy, Jeremy Barrel and Dragonfly 13, check this out. Great music Jeremy, thank you. See you soon. Day eight. Is it day eight? Yeah, it's day eight. Day eight. Day eight, and we're in. Uh, where are we? Uh, uh, Gijon. Gijon. We drove up from Bilbao today to Gijon, uh, over 400 kilometres, took over nine hours. And just as we arrived, well, about 15 minutes before we arrived at the camping, the heavens opened and we're soaking wet. So okay. we're sitting under this roof. Oh, you're recording me? Yeah. And wow. Mitch is cooking the dinner because he's a chef. And I'm drinking the wine because I'm a pisshead. That's how chefs, that's chefs work. Yeah. Yeah. All his own recipe. So, yeah, we had a long drive up today, didn't we? Yeah. Very long. Very long. Um, a bit of it on the coast, or most of it on the coast. And then um, we went to the Guggenheim this morning in Bilbao which was amazing and then tomorrow we're going to go into Gijón if we wake up <laughs> um, and then tomorrow we're off to A Coruña which we're looking forward to we're, on, we're in a campsite, I'll do a video in the morning 
because we were very right on the coast. Um, literally, we couldn't get any closer. And uh, we on a taxi splashing up the side of the campsite. Yeah, and we've got a little harbour next to us, and uh, a little town along the road. And it's all quite nice and quaint. So it's all quite sophisticated, really. We haven't got any dry clothes, but there you go. <laughs> They'll dry out on the bike tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye. I've never seen something like this. Just like the hands upon us. Know that we can't be helpless. Time to stand up and say yeah. It's day nine. Nine. And we're in Gijón. Um, no we're not, we're in Akarunya. Yeah. Uh, we're very tired, we're actually in bed, it's 9.30 and we're shattered, so we're having an early night. We spent eight hours on the road today and nine hours yesterday. Um, really good riding, lovely scenery, landscapes, um, seen some wonderful things. We went to the Guggenheim yesterday, I've probably mentioned that already, uh, but I can't remember. So it's just a short video to catch up with everyone. Uh, thank everyone for keeping uh, in touch with us. Keep sending the messages and we'll be back and more lively tomorrow, I'm sure. Night. Night. Okay. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Mitch should be up by now. But he's not. He's sleeping in there, look. So I'm going to start taking the tent down around him <laughs> until we've got left the sleeping bag. But we've got to get moving, so things must be done. Uh, see you in a bit. Bye. We're here in Santiago de Compostela. The bikes are parked over there, illegally, but the cafe owner said it'd be cool. Mitch is drinking coffee again and eating. And then the old town is all around us here. That's the one of the streets. Yeah. And then there's loads of people walking, obviously, on the route. And we're just going to go up to the cathedral, which is just over there to the left. And just have a look around this lovely place. It's gorgeous. Like it, Mitch? Loving it. See you soon. Today's campsite in Alvense. As you may have noticed on the left, we have a new tent. And it's not because me and Mitch can't get on. <laughs> well, we just we're just saying that. Yeah, we're just telling everyone that. But we can't get everything in to one tent and us. So, just so we can pack some stuff away in the tents with us for security more than anything, we're going to do that. So we're going to welcome Christina to our new uh, Family. Yep, so we already had Ian the tent and now we've got Christina the tent. So tonight I shall be inside Christina, which I hopefully she's nice and warm. While well, Mitch will be with Ian once again. I won't be with him, I'll be inside him like I like to be. Deep inside. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look around the camp. So I'll show you around the camp. They've got a, a playground there for Mitch tonight when he gets bored. And then that's the entrance up there. It's a beautiful site. It's one of the best ones we've been to, I think. And as you can see, no noisy neighbours. Peace. So this is day 10, our Renzi. Clothes are wet. I've woken up with wet hair. I had to put more clothes on during the night to try and uh, keep warm. But just everywhere. Everywhere you look.
we've just arrived and this is what they've gave us. We've got a porch. We've got a bench. There's our lovely kitchen. We've got TV. We've got heaters. We've got a sofa which turned into probably my bed. Then we've got the main bedroom, which is amazing. And look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Next to Badajoz, Merida. Merida. We're in Merida and um, we've got everything packed up as you can see. Tent two. This is Eric, if you'd like to meet it, Eric. And tent one, which is called Ian. Hello, Ian. And Mitch is going to be inside Ian all night. And I'm going to be inside Eric all night. And oh, tomorrow we're off to. Where are we going? Come on. Tomorrow we are going to Portugal. Yep. All the way down to next to Lippe. Faro. Faro. We're going to go down to Faro because we want to go in and have a look at Portugal. Uh, along the border and then down to, uh, like we say, Faro and then along the coast back up to Huelva where we're camping again tomorrow night and we're just waiting for instructions of where that camping site is <laughs> going to be. Um, but a good ride today, really nice ride down through cornfields. Um, really fast, long sweeping bends. Bikes are going really well, and we've just finished eating, as you can see. So we've got to go and do the washing up now, and then we're going to go to bed because we've got early start tomorrow, ten hours riding. See you later. Bye.
never coming down again If I ever make a pop tune, it's still music But I don't pick a genre, I make real music I got the bars to make you laugh and I can touch your heart I got the skill with lyricism to rip a beat apart Got the talent to reach my dream boy I found my dream girl and I'm a dream boy I got a vision that these rappers cannot see boy B2S forever put on for my team boy Yeah, people ask why I started rap So I can get a better position than where I started at yeah. Until I make it, I'ma never stop Because I'm living at the bottom, maybe for the top Go. Ready? Gonna be on telly. We're going in there. Going to be on telly. Hello. Hello. Hello everybody. We're in Marbella with uh, Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, that way. And, and Emma. Emma. Hi. And Edward, who's hiding behind me because he doesn't want to be on TV. And Mitch is there. Hello. Hello everybody. We're really happy to see Dave and Mitch here and making a safe journey and we're sending them on their way. <laughs> we're sending them away, but with, you know, with a tummy full, great food here in Marbella. Best food we have. They've, they've given us a lovely dinner and, uh, hey. Uh, we expect you enjoyed the, uh, the hotel tonight. Yeah, <laughs> and they, bed, like you said. they've and given us a hotel nice for the night so we can get clean and sleep well and uh, <laughs> it'll be all thanks to these guys. <laughs> So this is oh, radio, no, television, no, Estepona. This is, uh, no, uh, no uh, Estepona Radio, uh -huh. but we're also Marbella, uh, radio, Marbella Lifestyle Radio and Marbella Lifestyle, Lifestyle Television. And we come in Marbella, we come in Estepona Lifestyle and we come in Campo Libertad Lifestyle. This is Marbella Lifestyle and Estepona Lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that, that means sugar all <laughs> <laughs> It was a time. So Google the girls, they're lovely ladies. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. to Matheron and uh, we're on the port and it's lovely we've got a cold beer cheers and we've just been in we've got free access to the thermal baths so we've just been in the thermal baths had a swim around that was really nice 
and uh, no thank you. Um, it's a good watch. And uh, uh, we stayed last night at uh, Casa Oasis, uh, which is uh, Paula Murray and her husband Derek, or boyfriend Derek, soon to be husband Derek. A uh, really nice couple, fantastic bed and breakfast uh, in a place called Piedra Amaria, which is in Almeria. So if you're out in that area or you're coming to stay in Spain and you fancy a bit of peace and quiet, maybe a spa weekend or just a, a real chill out, it's a lovely, lovely place, isn't it? Really nice. Great food as well. Oh, lovely yeah. beds. Yeah, really comfy beds. We had um, there's like a your own sort of lounge as well to chill out in. And uh, well, she cooked us a lovely dinner last night and a lovely fry up this morning, and washed our clothes. So uh, we've been spoiled. So we've got here early today. So we thought we'd do a bit of a catch up video because it's now what time is it now? Half past two, three now. Three. Half past three. It's about half past three. So it's the yeah, earliest. Twenty to four. Twenty to four. The earliest day we've got to a campsite in the 21 days we've been doing it. So, uh, I can enjoy the beer. See you later. <laughs> I said hip, hop, the hip, the hip, the hip, hip, hop, you don't stop the rank to the bang, bang, boogie, sit up, chuck the boogie to the rim of the boogie, the beat. Now what you hear is not a test, I'm rapping to the beat. And me, the crew, and my friends are going to try to move your feet. You see, I am the Wonder Mike, and I'd like to say hello to the black, oh shit. <laughs> bang bang to the booty to the booty sit up chuck the booty to the bang bang to it stop you don't stop the rim to the moon your body right now so far you heard my voice but I bought a friend along and next on the mic is my mate Dave come on Dave see that song C A S N O V A N the S is F L Y you see it go by the cold of the ducks for the mix and these reasons I'll tell you why See, I'm six foot one, and I'm drawn to fun, and I dress to a T. You see, I go for the game with this one. Up, <laughs> oh, my rose, I'm out of lead. Up, bodyguards, I, I got, got two big cars. cars. It definitely ain't, ain't the whack. I got, got a Lincoln Continental and a sharp new Cadillac. And so after school, school I'll take a dip on the pole, which is really on the wall. wall. I'll take a color TV so I can see the Knicks play basketball. Check it out. This is Mitch, he's trying to blow up his inflatable bed. As you can see, mine is already blown up. He broke the pump. But Mitch insists he on buying a cheap Chinese pump. So uh, he's now struggling to blow his bed up. Mine's been fine twice that I've used it. He's used it once and broken it. Goes to show, doesn't it? He's not happy. But good wrist action, look at that. Right. What? You, you couldn't just leave it be, could you? I didn't do anything to it. It worked fine, look. Look at mine. Look, mine looks lovely in there. Doesn't it? Yours is looking a bit sad. Okay. I must say. Anyway, more updates to come. It's a fucking twat. Take the registration and we'll post it.
taking us over You know it's such a disgrace You keep on running With your blinders on They're gonna get you When you think you're strong, yeah Broken down, what, eight, seven kilometers from home. After doing 6,000 kilometers, the last seven kilometers, my bike's broken and we can't get back on it. We're waiting for someone to come and pick the luggage up and then we'll just jump on Mitch's and make it up to Grand La Camp and uh, finish it. But we're just, we're in a thunderstorm, rainstorm, whatever, the worst weather we've had now and uh, the worst times break down. Anyway, speak to you later. Well, hi there. Um, this is uh, obviously the end of the trip. We made it. Luckily, everything went well except for um, a bike broke down at the end, but that's not a problem. Everything's getting sorted. Um, we got back safe after the whole journey, which was absolutely amazing. Um, I mean, I'd do it again tomorrow if I could. If 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 I really could, I'd do it again and again and again. Um, it was amazing. Um, I mean, some of the best parts of Spain was the north, all the north coast was just lovely people, lovely roads, um, all the Pyrenees as well was windy, lovely roads, even though I was on the 125, still had great fun. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. I mean, some of the worst bits was trying to get stuff dry. It was impossible to sort of wake up and have nice warm dry clothes every day in a tent when the tent was soaking wet and the bike was soaking wet for 10 o'clock when we, when we were on the road trying to warm up with the sun that was coming up. So um, yeah, it was a great trip and uh, wish I could do it again. What a ride. Uh, best thing I've ever done. It was amazing. And to do it with Mitch um, was even better. Um, for those that want to know, the bikes, we had a, I had a Honda SLR 650 um, which held up right until the end and uh, it had a, fail, a problem with a valve uh, that come loose and uh, we thought it would get me home and it did, we did 6,000, over 6,000 kilometres and it did all of those uh, minus 8. We had to chuck all the stuff in a car um, on the last day in the pouring rain as you've seen and uh, I jumped on the back of Mitch's bike and uh, we got home. Mitch was riding a Derby Muller Thin 125, uh, yeah, a 125, which was amazing. Uh, we had a couple of problems with it, but Mitch fixed them. He did an amazing job. Uh, where was that? That was down in Huelva um, to fix the carburetor and uh, or temporary fix it really and get it home. And uh, it ran better after that and got him home easily, obviously, uh, both of us. Um,